Junior Marias, you are a Notts County player. How does that feel? Oh, I'm just grateful. First and foremost, I've got to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for this wonderful opportunity. Um, and yeah, I'm just delighted to be here, man. I'm just grateful and thankful to be here. We seem to be making a habit of signing players who get one over on us. We recently signed Jody Jones, who scored a hat-trick against us for Coventry. We then signed Conor Lemon and Hay Evans, who scored a hat-trick for us for Torquay. And now we've signed you, who's one of the very few players that's beaten us here at Meadow Lane in the last year. Yeah, um, I wish, I wish now, <laughs> I wish now that obviously the Knots won at that time, but you know, listen, I'm just grateful to be, as I said. What was that game like? I mean, it was a fantastic away performance, Dagenham taking their chances, yeah. but I think anybody in the ground would agree that Knots deserved to win that night. No, a million percent. It was just, it's one of them ones where like, it's a game where you're thinking, we're going to to Knots and obviously we know the firepower, we know the qualities, we know obviously the best team in the division and um, it's just one of because at home we got done 5-0 so I'm like in my personal mind I'm like oh, we can't especially when we went 1-0 down I'm like we can't this can't happen on national TV so it was just one of them ones we just sat off and just just worked hard really and that was it. What's it like to play against Knots when they're in full flow? Oh it's I, I, I was I was saying to some, I think I was kind of saying someone into in the boardroom. I was saying when we played at home at Dagenham, um, it felt like we was playing against fifteen men because just we couldn't get close to anyone. We couldn't, and then yeah, it was just difficult. It's just very difficult to play against. Not to be fair, the boys are just obviously you know obviously the second to none. I just feel like the way they play, everyone just flowed and moved. Centre back drives out with the ball. You know, it's yeah. It's just hard to it's hard to really as a striker as well, it's just hard to, to nail down. That experience of playing against us twice, yeah. um, did that affect your thinking about moving here? Did that sort of give you extra sort of motivation to come and be part of it? No, a hundred percent. It was, you know, from last season I've loved the way how obviously not playing the gaffer plays and I just loved the whole structure and everything. And obviously you know the size of the club. So it was just one of them ones that the minute I heard, I was I literally latched at it and I was just grateful, you know. So I just jumped at it because you want to be a part of this great history, you want to be a part of the club going forward. How would you define yourself as a as a forward? <sighs> uh, I'll say a pest. Um, no no nonsense. Want to work hard for my teammates. Um, goal scorer. And I always just give them, I always leave my all out on the pitch and yeah, want to get on the ball, want to link up, want to join. So yeah. And when you join a club where you have Macaulay Langstaff, 36 goals from open play, Kedwin Scott's got 14 goals, his minutes per goal must be up there with the best in the division. Yeah. How much of a motivation is that to know you're joining a club where they get the best out of their forward players? No, 100%. You know, you can you can see, you can see with um, Macker and, you know, everyone else that's you know, you can just see the, the goodness going forward in terms of like the opportunity you created. You've got Rodriguez there. So you've got, oh, that, there's so much names to, to call out, you know. So it's, a, it's like I was watching a game and it was just, I was just like, wow, I was just blown away. Because playing against it is different than sitting and watching it. So I was just like, wow. Yeah, you were here against... Eastley yesterday, a lot of people are purring about Ruben Rodriguez's performance, yeah. two goals, yeah. an assist. He could have had a couple of other assists as well. Yeah. What were your overall thoughts on, on watching that last night? The game of two halves almost? Yeah. Um, first off, you could see that they had a game plan and to be fair, they executed it well. But second off, you can just see the quality that, that we had and we just, it was just... It was just a whole different game, you know. He just the boys just went on another level. They just kicked on, and you can see when we kick on, it's just no one, no one could stop us. And when you watch, like you did last night, are you visualizing in your own mind how yeah. you fit into that and how you adapt into this quite unique yeah. and quite yeah. complex way of playing? No, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because that's what I like to do when I'm watching games. I like to visualize, like visualize how. Where would I be? What position will I take up? You know, and yeah. A big part of you settling in here will be, no doubt, you being in a lot of meetings and 
a lot of training sessions where the emphasis will be on you adapting to a new system and a new yeah. club. Everybody who talks about Luke Williams and the way that we do things here emphasises how much detail goes into every process. Are you mentally ready for that challenge at this stage of the season? Because there's going to be a lot of information for you no, to of learn. Course. And of course, Listen, it's, it's a challenge that um, I'm grateful to have, you know, and um, I want, I'm willing to learn. I want to learn because I always feel like you learn new things every day. So, you know, going forward, I just want to learn and pick up everything. I'm like, a, I'm like a sponge, just wanted to take everything in. So I'll be prepared to take in the details. Whenever I'm called upon, I'll be ready to go. We have to talk about Dagenham because they've given you a brilliant platform, haven't they, over the last year and a half or so. You scored, yeah. I think, 13 in your first season, 10 yeah. so far this season. How much did you value your time there? Dagenham was, um, I really appreciate Dagenham. Um, they gave me a platform to go and enjoy my football again. Um, the guy, um, Darren McMahon, I, I thank him really because, you know, when no one believed in me, he believed in me. And um, he gave me an opportunity to enjoy my football again and I'm forever, forever grateful. The fans were brilliant, they welcomed me. And yeah, so I've got no, no, nothing bad to say about the club, wonderful club. So, yeah. Three-year deal, so all being well, you're going to be spending your prime years here at Notts County. How much are you now focused on taking your career to another level? I know you've played in good levels in the EFL, big clubs yeah. in the EFL, but in terms of your own personal performance, consistency yeah. and, and development, this is a huge move for you, isn't it? No, 100%. And as I said, I want to learn every day. You know, um, I want to learn from the gaffer. I want to learn from everyone around the club. And take it to a next level so and I believe that we can go beyond so it's I'm grateful to be here to be a part of everything. You spoke about your faith earlier in the interview um, yeah. a couple of questions on that first and foremost the man <laughs> the man entrusted with looking after you <laughs> at the game yesterday I don't know if it was a coincidence yeah. uh, was Rev yeah. so for those who don't know we have a, a club chaplain who's really popular and well known amongst a lot of our fans, Liam O'Boyle. So he was the man who, who looked after you at the game last night. Did yeah. he give you a warm welcome and did you enjoy no, the, he was brilliant. the atmosphere? Right yeah, now? he was brilliant. He was brilliant. He just made me feel comfortable. And uh, when I came, it just felt a family, you know, family orientated club. And um, I felt comfortable coming in. And the Rev just made it extra special. So it was just good. It was great. Good. And then John Bostock, um, who I'm sure is a <laughs> name that you know well. Do you, do, have you spoken to him in terms of faith and stuff? Yeah, no, we've spoken pre um, previously. So when I got baptised uh, last year, we had a little brief little chat. So, yeah, he's my brother in faith. So, yeah. So you feel like, based on your experience last night coming to, to the game and meeting quite a few people and obviously knowing John, that you know, you're coming into an environment where you, you're going to feel happy, comfortable yeah. and, and ready to kick on. 100%. That's good to 100%. hear. 100%. Um, the only thing holding you back, I suppose, is a, is a small injury issue. Yeah. Just tell us where you are at the minute. Yeah, it's just literally it's just some, something that I picked up in a warm-up. So, um, God's grace, I'll be back um, soon. Very yeah. soon, so, yeah. So that means you'll likely miss the Barnet match, but then we still have plenty of huge games yeah. um, between now and the end of the season you thrust straight into arguably I don't even know if it is arguably at this stage but the hottest title race in National League history mm -hmm. how are you feeling about that whole situation I'm, I'm excited I'm excited you know because I believe the, the boys I believe in the boys I believe we, we can all go and achieve um, the number one goal and um, I believe we can do it I've got no doubt having heard you today you want to be an EFL player next season 100% well, fingers crossed, we get that as God's a team. Grace. God's grace, God's grace. Junior, welcome to Notch. We can't wait to see what you got. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you.